Hi guys, welcome back for another episode of Far Cry 5. Push those like and subscribe buttons if you're enjoying this series. And now let's get into this. For the time being, we are being returned to uh, a safe spot. You copy? Do I? I don't know where you've gone and disappeared to, but shit. We really kicked the hornet's nest. I know you're probably out there trying to get your friend Pratt back, but us whitetails could still use a hand. Anyways, you know where to find us. Talk soon. All right, Pratt being the guy that we are trying to save from Jacob's camp, the one who tried to hey, save us. Not sure where you've been, but you should head on over to the crossroads where the grill streak used to be. They've got something up on the screen there you've got to see. All right, then I guess let's head over there. So now we're gonna do a secondary mission, actually a companion mission. I'm approaching the Fang Center where there is a uh, very interesting bear waiting for us. This is Wade over at the Fang Center. Peggy's took all the animals, but I think Cheeseburger is still loose. <laughs> yes, we're gonna get a cheeseburger, not the uh, kind that is fattening, but a fat one nonetheless. <laughs> all right, so let's try and set the uh, helicopter down and do this stealthily. Now this is probably a bit too far away. We can clearly see though there are two alarms. Gotta take care of those. Yeah, let's get a bit closer first. Oh man, there is no way of doing this without getting spotted. The alarms are both, both hidden. So this is the... Uh, from this side we do have a high ground advantage, but we do not get to see the, um, the alarms, which kind of sucks, to be honest with you. We might just have to do this one the loud way. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this stealthily as much as I can. But I don't think... I don't really think we're gonna have to... We're gonna be able to do this. See now, did they rea realize and are they gonna sound the alarm? Yep. Come on, reload. <laughs> Alright, now they know. Let's relocate. Make them lose. lose us a bit. And now I'm just gonna be a sneaky bastard. Actually... I don't know if this is smart though, because I'm kinda trapped here. Come on, damn it. <laughs> How many bullets? How many headshots does it take? Down there. All right, now we got the second alarm, so they cannot send in second uh, second wave of reinforcements. Where are you? You 
can't get away from me either. <laughs> Okay, we need to relocate. This is gonna end up bad for me otherwise. Oh, jeez. So many people after me. Should be a couple more coming this way. No? Which is kind of unfair, because I killed the alarm. They shouldn't be able to call in any more reinforcements. Oh, shoot. Come on. Yeah, unfortunately, that didn't do any damage because they were covered. All right, let's stack in here for a bit. Try and uh, play this smart. Are they coming behind me? Somebody see me going in. Go, go, go. They actually didn't. This guy just spawned here, I think. Oh, what does it have to reload again? Just did that. No, oh, man, that's the worst thing. They saw me, but I couldn't get them. Oh, Jesus, he's flying too low. Thank you. All right, hopefully you're the last guy remaining. Oh. He's actually trying to aim at me. But he kind of forgot there was a wall between us. <laughs> All right, Fang Center liberated. Oh, you are meat, man. <laughs> All right, so that pisses Jacob off quite a bit for 400 resource points. What is she doing? Are you being crazy? Watch Why are you chasing me? I hear Jacob's been looking for you. Oh, I can hire you. No. All right. Let's uh, let's go find the bear. This is Wade. All right. Wade should have the mission for us. Hey, there you are. I'm just glad to see it out of the cult's hands. Training those wolves to cause hell. And they've been shipping those crazy wolves all the way to the old lumber mill. To keep an eye on prisoners. Now, we had a bear here named Cheeseburger. Bit of a local celebrity, actually. Had a soft spot for Chad's barbecue. But he got the diabetes, so we put him on a liquid salmon diet. Anywho, Colt tried to take him, so I set him free. Last I heard, he was causing all sorts of mayhem. Someone should go find him. Make sure he's all right. Grab some salmon from the pond ahead of time, though. Then feed Cheeseburger that salmon, and he'll be eating out of the palm of your hand. All right, let's track the mission. Should be fairly close. Oh, actually, it's not fairly close. Uh, all right, let's get a helo then and get going. All right, so we are fairly close to that fishing spot now. Let's set this down and go get ourselves a bear. Probably the most powerful companion in this game. I think the spot that you find the bear rotates with each playthrough, it's uh, kind of random. Because I remember I found the bear somewhere else. Oh, actually, oh jeez. No, that's not where we're gonna find the bear. We first need to get a, a fish to bite. Oh man, okay, let's do some fishing. All right, that's a tutorial for reeling and catching. We gotta fight the fish.
Hopefully we catch a salmon. Yes, nice. And that's exactly what we need in order to go get uh, our bear now. Hey, if you got that salmon, I just heard cheeseburger was spotted at Lanero Building Supplies. All right, so actually the bear stays in the same spot probably. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Almost destroyed my helicopter there. <laughs> Alright, let's go get the bear. Now, well, there's probably gonna be enemies here. Let's set this down. Yep, lots of enemies. It looks like a nice spot for a grenade. Is it the sticky kind? Yes. Look out, grenade! Wow, the grenade didn't actually kill anybody. Like, really? Man, I swear the recoil on this gun is horrible. But it has so many bullets, and if you get a headshot. It uh, insta-kills an enemy, so I gotta continue rolling with that. Alright, now let's search for uh, Mr. Cheeseburger. Hey, there you are. Don't be shy or anything. Just get right up in there and give him the salmon. Cuddly little guy will eat it right out of your hand, don't you worry. Hey, bear. Take it slow now, do not eat me. Now, now, don't bite the hand that feeds. You and I are gonna be good friends. You're gonna be my default companion probably from now on. Oh, who's a good boy? <laughs> oh, stop the cow from taking cheeseburger. Okay, where are you guys? Secure that bear for the father! Nah, the father ain't getting anything. Oh man, moving targets with this gun. It's a nightmare. Nah, let's not do that. Capture that bear! Where are you guys going? I'm over here. <laughs> oh, the bear is over there. Yeah. Oh, sniper. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. That's dude with his shotgun. Oh, man. Bullets flying everywhere. Jesus. Okay, I think Cheeseburger got the final few enemies. Oh man, what a sad thing, a bear with a diabetes. <laughs> a right to bear arms, nice. Who's a good boy? Oh wow, <laughs> look at that face. If anybody's watching. I heard you saved old Cheeseburger from the cult. Good work. Fowler boy has trained him well. I bear him all anything you tell him to. And he's some of a local celebrity. So don't be surprised if people care more about him than you. Eh, it's okay. I'm not in it for the fame anyway. Man, do not try and pet bears, guys. <laughs> it only happens in video games. All right, on to the next mission. Which actually, I think it's pretty close. 
Yes, we have another companion very close, Mr. Drabman. Hey, Migos, it's me, Herc. Just hold up my old man's house. Yep, me and Daddy are planning to kick these cocksucking Peggy's right in their Eden's gate. So we do not even need to get a helicopter, most probably. Although it seems to be quite high. All right, let's get going on foot. So, yeah, I ultimately got a bit too lazy. You know, walking in my thing. So let's go and do this by helicopter. Man, where is this guy? Hey, Migos, it's me. Hey, Migos. Should be right on top of it. Now this is getting confusing. Oh man, there it is. That 3D map, once you click it, it sets a point over there. But you know, because of the 3D uh, effect. Yeah, <laughs> you get it. Alright, let's go uh, meet Mr. Dropman Senior and uh, Junior. Senior is quite a funny guy. Well, he doesn't try to be funny. <laughs> but you'll see what I mean. Alright, hey Mr. Dropman. One that's been putting those bad hombres down. I thought you'd be taller. And I thought you'd be leaner. <laughs> Look at this. Vote Herc State Senate. You can kinda guess what you're what we are gonna get into right now. <laughs> you a registered voter? Ah, don't matter. I need help of a different sort. Let's get to the point. You see that steaming pile of disappointment over there praying? That's my loin fruit, Herc Jr. Dumber than a coal bucket. He takes after his mama. Stupid some bitch went and lost my campaign truck, Nancy. So named after the greatest first lady to ever serve this fine country, of course. If them Obama loving libtars find out I can't look after my own property, I can kiss this Senate run goodbye. Now, seeing as you're on my land, and I didn't kill you, even though it's well within my rights as a red-blooded American gun owner, I say you owe me. Help numbnuts get my truck back, so I can start focusing on my campaign again. All right. <laughs> Someone's here to help you. Try not to fuck it up. <laughs> myself, then? You might remember Hark from the previous Far Cry games. He's uh as crazy as ever. Welcome, dude. Ah, uh, hey man, I'm sorry. I don't want to go on assuming nobody's gender or nothing. I, I mean, I don't mean no disrespect. I just call all my homies, dude or bro or man. You know, regardless of vegetalia or penile -ness, ness Whoa, deja voodoo, man. Have, have we have we met before? Yes, we have. Hey, man, my prayers have been answered. I got a direct line to that sweet little monkey god whose heart hangs in heaven. Well, I guess since you're an angel working here on Earth, the Monkey King, that you already know I gotta get my daddy's truck back. I mean, he's real butt sore. But if we get it back, he'll let me sleep in my bed again. And I gotta tell you, man, it's getting real cold outside. Never mind them wood ticks crawling all up in my junk, threatening me with Lyme disease and whatnot. So come on, man. Help me get my daddy's truck back. Yeah, we do not want you to get uh Where are you? Oh. Okay, here we go. Santa Run's been real stressful on him, man. He ain't cut out for that shit. You know how busy he is? Doesn't even have time to cut out for a shit. I see you, dude. Shit, man, I've been praying on this all day, man. I've been asking the Monkey King, all the baby Jesuses, even the Bill Valentine's one. Just to send me a sign, man, and they sent me here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna apologize. Getting that truck, it ain't gonna be easy. Damn cult's got it, man. Because there's gonna be copyrighted music, I'm gonna have to do some tricks here. Sorry, beforehand. When I tried to join them, I mean, I mean, it just seemed like a good idea. I mean, they had all these guns, food, fine-ass females, and I mean, those are three things I'm really all about. I mean, it seemed like one big party over there, you know? So I says, I says, hey, Migos, where do I sign up? They said, sign up right here, friend. Then, <laughs> then they start listing off all their dang rules, man. No fornicating. Turns out that means fucking. No, no alcohol and no wild out and partying, man. No thank you. So I got the fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck out of there, man. Unfortunately, though, I forgot my daddy's truck. Real butt sore since, so 
gotta get that truck. But you don't gotta worry about a thing, man. I got a nine-step plan to get this truck back. Step one, catch a day buzz off party liquor. Got that one covered, homie. Step two, pray for someone else to solve my problem. Done. Step three is, uh, shit. Shit, I forget the rest, but they'll come to me as soon as, soon as we go. Dang, you are a good listener, Boba Fett. My old man doesn't listen at all. I guess that's why I never feel hurt. Me and him, we ain't getting along that well lately. Ever since he started running for office, he's been coming down on me real hard about everything. About my public intoxication, how I handle my firearms, stuff like that, man. But when we get his truck back from them Peggy's, he's gonna be real impressed, dude. He's gonna love me so much, and then my mom's gonna have to try and love me more so she can compete with how much he loves me, and then he'll see how much she's loving me, and then he'll try and love me even more, and then birthdays and Christmases, we're gonna be off the chain. Oh man, <laughs> he sure talks a lot. <laughs> He's a funny guy though. <laughs> All right, man, this is the place. All right, lead the way, man. <laughs> oh, I just remembered step three. We take it from the rear, just like my granddaddy did in World War II with all them foreign prostitutes. You see Jesus. that tower? Let's go fuck shit up. All right, uh, that's the part of the plan that we agree. Let's see, can we spot anybody? Oh, we could actually kill a lot of guys from here. It's pretty far away, though. Let's get just a smidge closer, maybe. Still kind of, kind of tough. You can see. I like to cut your jib. Play your cards right. I'm a little something I've been cooking up. Yeah, I should probably just go on for headshots. Oh man, I gotta catch my breath here. Oh, sniper. Okay, let's not do that though. Yeah, I blew my bear up, I know, but... <laughs> he was gonna die anyway from that guy. Those armored, uh, armored enemies are no joke. Hey, buddy. Sorry for uh, blasting you. <laughs> it is gonna happen again. I'm uh, not gonna lie to you. Jesus, the recoil on this gun. Cannot hit anything. Oh, jeez. What the heck was that? Was that you? Work, you idiot. <laughs> you almost killed me, man. Alright, so uh, what are we doing? Getting the truck, huh? Okay, I'm just following. He walks funny. Well, he's wearing funny pants also, so... <laughs> oh, man, imagine going around in these pants. Okay, man, now it's time for step four. Which is? It's actually all the way down yonder. Probably more Peggy's waiting for us, too. It's all about the zipline shit. Okay, I'm following. Uh, are you gonna move or should I start the uh, the party here? Come on, huh? use it. Oh man. Bear, get out of the way. Let Herc use it. Come on, man. You gotta take point. There you go. Fuck yeah, man. Oh shit, don't fall, right? Fuck yeah, man. All right, nice. On to the next one. How many zip lines are there going to be? All right, go first, man. Feel that breeze on my tank. 
Gerani, bro! <laughs> Gerani, bro. Alright, no more zip lines. Come on. Let's get serious now. Shit's getting real, man. Now comes the fun. Finally, because I've been. I've grown tired of zip lines. Yeah, I can get enough of the way he walks. <laughs> Man, look at them, the bear and hark. These are like a funny combo. No enemies? If you think about it, it's way sunnier when there ain't no clouds. <laughs> Nice. Let me finish him off. <laughs> Jesus. And the bear gets in the way. <laughs> well, if you're gonna get in the way, bird, just... Oh, man. You're always in the way. Well, at least he got one of them. Oh, you drive. Come on. Let me handle the, the gun. Is the bear gonna help us out? Oh man, we got trouble. Reach into that there cooler. See if we have any cans of whoop ass left. And pass me a beer if there's one. Man, these guys will not fuck off. I thought I had somebody behind me. But alas, I was mistaken, I guess. Ooh, nice. Please, Monkey King, just make this work, man. Hold on to something. You know what is funny? They uh, used the uh, copyrighted music, which was a good piece of music, by the way. While we were traveling quietly, they should have used it here. That's a way more appropriate spot. Ah, that guy gets to live. Oh, helicopters. Oh, almost fell on top of my head. We pulled it off. Shit, and it was only five steps. Oh, man, I... I definitely forgot something, but you did good, though. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, man. I'm actually starting my own cult, and you are gonna be my first turkey. It's what I call my flop. It's gonna be the cult of you, me, my cousin Sharky, and a bunch of smoking hot ladies, man. We're just gonna slam back brews and fucking rock it all the time, bro. Well, that's one cult that I could join, actually. <laughs> All right, let's see how uh, impressed his father is going to be. My bet? Zero. <laughs> yes, sir. Did you miss me? That thing now's broken. Hey, hey check it out, dude. Would you look That's at that? Bad. Two peas in a goddamn pod. You're dumber than a box of shit. Wait, what? What just happened? I thought you would be proud of me, Daddy. I helped rescue would you from the Peggy's and everything. Two peas in a goddamn pod. Glad she's still in one piece. Well, Deputy, you kept your word. You know, I did some thinking while you were gone. This whole Senate run is too much for me to handle on my own. I'm in need of a campaign manager, and you're just the kind of go-getter I need to get my ass in office. First task I've got is to take Junior with you wherever you go, so I don't have to hear him praying to that goddamn Monkey King no more. Second task is, uh, well, uh, let me think on it a bit. I'll get back to you. Well, okay, Mr. Drabman Sr. Hiring me is actually the uh, first good move for your campaign. 
Thank you for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you in the next one.